Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse. I am back again for another iOS accessible app spotlight. And this is going to tie into some of the recent videos that I've been doing for the PlayStation 5. We've looked at the console and the controller. We've looked at the dashboard. We've looked at uh, the headset. Now let's take a look at the iOS app. Uh, if you have a PlayStation 4 or 5, you can actually do a lot of stuff remotely, like browse the store, buy games, install games remotely to your system. And uh, I haven't tried it yet, but even uninstall games, I guess, you know, uh, games are getting so ginormous these days that, uh, and the PlayStation 5 in particular does not have such a uh, sizable SSD that we're going to have to uninstall things at some point here. So let's take a look at it. It does happen to be quite accessible with voiceover, with a few exceptions. PS app. PS app. Double. Here we go. Let's open PS it app. up. Nine earned twenty-two percent, twenty-eight available trophy icon platinum. All right. So, um, you know, obviously, when you first uh, op download and open the app, you're asked to create an account or sign in. I signed in with my PlayStation Network ID. Um, it gives you a little walkthrough on what you can do. You choose which system you want to have linked to the app if you happen to have more than one. I had my old PS4, uh, which is no longer hooked up right now, um, but the PS5, uh, it found that and it said, okay, well, we'll, we'll use that because that was online last and you can change it in settings if you want to, but there you go. Top left. Messages screen. Me uh, messages. So you can do some, some of your messaging, including voice messaging. So like, let's say that you wanted to chat with someone they were using their ps4 or 5 and you wanted to use your uh, playstation app apparently you can do that i have not done this but i have done some voice chat and text chat on the system itself and it works quite well so that's cool friend screen got your friend screen up there in the upper right jesse anderson got your uh, kind of name up there notification got your notifications settings and settings kind of on the line below Notification. Um, notifications. Notification. Pretty simple. Notifications. You know, it's just your notifications. Um, God Fall 4D ready to play. Play now. Notifications. God Fall 4D ready to play. Destruction All Stars 4D ready to play. Play now. I don't. Why is it? Hold on. Words. Destruction. Destruction. Wait. God Fall 4D ready to play. Play. Speaking rate. Words. God Fall. 4D. 4D. Characters. 4D. Space. Capar. Romeo. I don't know why it says Godfall 4D. Um, I don't know what the 4D is. Um, but it'll tell you, like, if you start an installation even on your PlayStation console or even through the phone app, it'll let you know when the game is downloaded and ready to play. That is nice. You'll get your friend notifications, um, any trophies that you've earned. You'll get those sort of notifications. Again, it's... Uh, notifications pretty self-explanatory um the one thing i don't like about this particular app is they put the back button in the lower left and visually back button it's kind of hard to see because back it's button. small Main tab, game and it blends in a lot of times if there's like box art or something it'll blend in quite well with that and i don't recommend if you're a voiceover user don't flick around to it Otherwise, you're going to be there forever. Just go to your bottom left of your screen, do a little explore by touch, and you will find it. You'll have to, like I said, it's a small icon, so you'll have to poke at it and get used to finding it a little bit. But it, it, it does work. I kind of wish they would just put it up there, maybe even to the right of the messages screen. The messages screen. So, you know, you can do that. I mean, your, so your main page, you got Jesse your Anderson. profile. It's basically your profile. Recently played. <clears throat> Essentially, you got your recently played. The Last of Us trademark part two. The Last a of Us A person with white powder on their face. There we go. VoiceOver does its description. Trophies. Got your trophy notifications. How many trophies have you earned? Trophies. Nine earned 22%, 28 available trophy icon platinum, zero trophy so, icon, gold one trophy icon. Go. I haven't done a whole lot with trophies. Not something I really pay much attention to, but you know, if you're into that thing, you're it's there. Um, and then it just breaks down three. some of your recently played games, nice. any trophies that you've earned. Um, so, you know, Godfall. I recently played Godfall, I Resident recently Evil played Resident Evil Village nice. demo, those things. So you'll get to see some of that recent activity there. On the bottom, page one of three, 
And you do have to flick up with three, or you have to like scroll up with three fingers to get the bottom bar to appear because it does hide sometimes uh, if you scroll down a page. So you have tabs across the bottom. Game icon. These are not fully labeled. Um, you know, you can tell what they are. Main tab search icon. Main tab game icon. So games. Main tab search icon. S okay, why did you hold on? Main tab game icon. Main tab search icon. Play. Play. Oh, weird. Main tab explore icon. Main tab PS4 so icon. So I've always just explored. Flicking is not always super reliable. When I go to the games in the lower left and I flick to the right, it goes to the far right one and it skips the middle three. But if you explore by touch, or maybe there's just a weird flick order, you might eventually get to them. So, you know, again, learn explore by touch. I know a lot of people just flick around, um, and that does get you uh, some places. But in a lot of apps, um, there's just places where um, flicking doesn't always work. And even if it does, um, just explore by touch can be a lot more efficient and quick, uh, convenient. So it's definitely a skill I recommend learning if you don't really use that. But you do have Main tab, game icon. games. Main tab, explore icon. Explore. That's kind of your, they have a blog, they have news updates. So any kind of system updates, news, uh, discounts, any sort of PlayStation news they want to give you. Odd Main tab, explore yeah, icon. I, I Main tab, explore it. icon. PlayStation Plus double discounts promotion comes to PlayStation Store three hours ago. And illustration with text double and images on it. discounts. I like that. Hawkeye is coming to Marvel's Avengers on March 18th, 11 hours ago. A foil right. chicory, a colorful tale is coming to PS5 and New Year, new mode, new content for Predator, Hunting Grounds for Media Molecule reveals the winners of the second annual MP. So there you go. I mean, there's your type of, you know, it's just your typical news story-esque Page content. one of five. Main tabs explore icon. Main tabs PS store icon. PS store. Main tabs PS store icon. Here's another place where you're going to run into some unlabeled images. Uh, and these are worse than the ones on the bottom because not all of them will really work or they won't read much at all. They'll just say like image or something similar. Like on the bottom, at least you can see game store search. They're wordy, but, but they're there. Um, typically your game box art, that will be fine. You can read those, but any type of like a uh, larger image for promos that they have, whether it's a pre-order, whether it's a, uh, some kind of a, a bundle deal, whether it's some kind of a sale, or maybe they just want to do, hey, here's a collection of action games or puzzle games or whatnot. Um, those types of images, both on the consoles themselves, uh, especially PS5 when you have the screen reader, um, and on the app, they just don't read. So, like this one. Featured image, image, Featured a video game image. screenshot of a video game with characters from a video game. I love that. Featured image, image, a video game screenshot of a video game with characters from a video game. A video game screenshot of a video game with the image of the video game of the video game of video game. <laughs> I mean, good lord. That just amuses me. Um, but if I flick to the right... Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart. This one does have text underneath it. Not all of them do. But Ratchet and Clank, that's the upcoming game that's coming out in, like, June. So, definitely want to look at that. But when I go down here... Featured image. Page two of four. Featured image. Featured image. Show more. So there's just a lot featured of featured, featured images. Image. Featured image. Featured image. Featured image. Featured image. So there's a lot. Eight Player Rise Two. Lost Legends in the Secret Fairy Ultimate Edition. Romance of the Three Kingdoms. XIV. Eight Player Rise Two. New games view all. But if I go down to like the new games area. Eight Player Rise Two. Lost Legends in the Secret Romance of the Three Kingdoms. It's the ninth. Monstrum Knox Digital Deluxe okay. Edition. PS four seventy four dollars. Eight Player Rise Two. Lost Romance of the Three Kingdoms. XIV. To the Nia Collection Bundle. Sixty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. And Paladins Deluxe Edition. PS four. Prison Architect. Total Lockdown Edition PS. So those will read. So there are just some inconsistencies. You could, you know, you can go into one of these images. So if I just, let's say I go on to one of these featured image. images here. Featured image. Let's featured image. Tap, a photo containing tap. image. And I'll look at the top here. Image. Image. FIFA 21 Standard Edition PS4 trademark and PS5 trademark. Okay. I don't care about FIFA. Back button. Not back button. into soccer. So Main tab, game I can icon. just go back. Um, you know, and your store pages are typically fine. You know, they've got some screenshots. They have your description, uh, you know, about the game. Uh, some of the, it'll give you your, your compatibility. And even if I, let's say... Game tabs, library icon. Paladins Deluxe Edition PS4 bundle $59.99. A photo containing an adult in the sign. PS4. Page 3 of Persona Registered 5 Strikers Digital Deluxe Edition PS4 bundle $69.99. Some of them will say PS4, PS5. It'll kind of let you know... 
Um, the bundles necessarily not, but like the games, a lot of times will tell you like PS4 or PS5 or PS4 or PS5 if it has the version. Some you'll get like a cross buy, where you basically get both versions of the game if you buy it once, because there's a few that have that. So it's nice that VoiceOver will tell you that kind of information. Page two of four. Um, Main tabs library icon. Library. Main tabs library have icon. Your um, across the top. Played. Purchased. Played and purchased. So you have games that are on your system, and then you have games that are just in your library that you could choose to remotely install to your system. So right now we're on the games that are played. The Last of Us trademark part two. Uh, Godfall. Resident Evil Village. Astro's Playroom. Marvel Spider-Man. Miles Morales. Doom. 1993. Marvel Spider-Man. God of War. And there you go. There's some games. I've got a few on my system right now. And you could even choose to remotely launch one of those games, which is kind of interesting. And then, of course, your search. There's not really much to explain there. You know, there's a search box. You type. Results appear. And you click on them. Um, it's Or you tap on them. There's really not much to it. Um, that is the PlayStation app. Um, there's not really a whole lot else to say. Overall, it is pretty voiceover accessible. Um, the store page and a couple of the other images here and there um, definitely need some attention from Sony so that they are properly labeled with alternative text, alt tags, if you will. Um, but you can get, you know, you can get things done. Um, you can browse the store. Let's say you're away from your PlayStation. Maybe you're home for holidays and you want to browse the store during a sale so that you can get that good deal when you, for the game when you get home. You can do that and you can even remotely install it so it's ready when you get back or when you're at work, uh, when we're able to do that again. So, um, you know, you can do a lot of management and uh, even, even like I said, the friends stuff. Messages screen. Or the messages Messages screen. screen. Project news Tuesday, Jesse Anderson. Jesse Anderson, star. So there Parties. you go. I can go in there. The Ranger 1138, Jesse Anderson. Hey, it finally worked. Third time's a charm. Super line man, Jesse Anderson. And I could go into either, I can go into any of those, and then it would show kind of our conversation, and we could Messages screen. chat and everything. Barrow. Friend screen. And I can go to my friends. Um, Create messages. What? Create messages. Oh, create messages, yeah. So, I mean, the interface itself is generally pretty good. The main thing that I don't like PSM. is I don't like that the back button is sometimes not even visible, but a lot of times is in the lower left-hand corner. So um, that, I think, really could be consistent. I wish they would, you know, if they're going to add alt, support, alt tag support for images, if they could go one step further and support the scrub gesture for voiceover to allow a quick back, that would make life a heck of a lot easier. And they always have that kind of, almost always have that space along the top. Just put the back button up there. Like Steam does something similar where they always have the menu in the upper left. But if you're deep into like a store, uh, you're looking at a search results and then you go into a specific game, you, there's a back button just to the right of the uh, menu button, so it's still kind of where one would expect a back button to be on iOS, and it's consistent. So, anyway, that is the PlayStation app. It is available on iOS and Android. Have not tried the Android version, but um, for iOS users, eh, there's a little bit of work that needs to be done, but overall, pretty useful. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and on YouTube right here. So until next time, I'll chat with you guys again later.